Welcome to the middle of February, everybody, from downtown Memphis at the WREG News Channel 3 studios. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with the February 10th edition of our exclusive video environmental blog, Weather Overtime. The Weather Overtime is coming up a little later. You can find that at WREG.com. This is your environment. A little different scenario as we talk a little bit more about the issues that you may face or your community may face when it comes to things like recycling and the environment and conservation and all sorts of things like that. If you've got suggestions, let us know about it. You can find more on our website at wreg.com slash weather slash environment. Or again, on the main menu section, you can get there again under the Your Environment tab as well. Coming up in just a little bit, we'll talk a little bit more about what you can do to find out more about our future when it comes to conservation and the economy. There's been some bold ideas set forward in the new Congress. We'll talk more about what you can do to look at that information and to get involved to find out more information. Your democracy, my democracy, we pay taxes for it. It's time for everybody to kind of step up by just a little bit and find out more about what's going on. And we'll help you do that, especially where it comes to the new Green Deal. So stay tuned for more on that coming up here in just a little bit. We'll have tons more information also about local events in just a few minutes. So stay tuned for more on that. And we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. We'll also talk a little bit more again about the ways you can help out to save rainforest space and how much has been saved so far this year. Setting aside the rainforest is one of the best things we can possibly do to, again, make certain we have breathable air. The rainforest are the lungs of our planet, and if we don't protect them, we have less clean air to breathe, so something to consider on that. We'll also take a look in just a little bit at how many days and hours are left until Earth Hour, not Earth Day, but Earth Hour. And if you'd like to know more about how you can benefit from this, stick around because we'll have more details coming up here in just a little bit. As the Democrats have taken control of the House, we have had new hearings opening up on the House Science Committee as well. And more information about what's going on with the House Science Committee and, again, what's happening there as we start to have more hearings than we have had in the last couple years on climate change and a lot to find out you can find out more by going to science.house.gov to find out more information about what's going on out there in the halls of congress in regards to how strong our science efforts are and what we're doing about things like climate change it's a very important thing to take a look at and the house science committee is starting to do just that but over the course of the last week or so we have heard from some of these meetings and again from some of the new members of Congress going on and you can find out more about the different meetings, the different caucuses going on and again more of the hearings taking place with the witnesses listed and again that's on the House Science Space and Technology Committee at science.house.gov for more information including the subcommittees on the environment and all kinds of other things going on in this recent Congress including the press releases in that area. Now earlier again this last week some questions were raised in regard to our power supply. Is it vulnerable to a cyber attack? Does it depend too much on fossil and nuclear power, which does create its own and very substantial amounts of pollution, which is lending itself to, again, climate change? And how can we can change that is starting to be a big issue for younger people, including some of the new members of Congress out there. Now, the new Green Deal has been offered by, again, some of the members of Congress, and it is not, again, sitting well with everybody, but, again, in a political system like ours, there's going to be some give and take out there. So the big question is at this time, what is going to be happening? Well, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Democrat from New York, have again worked with other members of the committee uh, again and other members of the Democratic and Republican sides to start working together to form what is called the Green New Deal and some parties are really on board with this again showing a lot of effort in promoting this and getting behind it again a lot of other committees are not quite getting behind it all quite so much because of resistance to the idea of climate change in the first place. Now, in the last several days and weeks, information about the Green New Deal has really skyrocketed on social media, and we're starting to see a lot more about what is going on out there. But here's part of the thing out there 
what is actually in the energy plan? What does it call for? Does it actually call for the banning of air travel, as some media sources are saying? Does it actually begin to say, well, we need to cut out all cars and buses and planes and go back to horse and buggies? Well, here's the interesting thing about that. Have you actually looked at what the House resolution has said? And I'll just bet that about 99% of people watching this netcast have probably never asked that question or gone out there to find out more about it. So for tonight, what we're going to be doing, and if you'd like to know more, we're going to have a whole bunch more information about where you can get information on what is going on out there. Now, one of those places you can go to that's a very good place for not only uh, environment inf information, technology, and also learning about education is, again, going to uh, Popular Mechanics at popularmechanics.com, a good place to go to again for more information and their websites have a good deal on what the energy plan is and what it is officially not also looking at things like getting rid of nuclear power it used to be a great idea but unfortunately the nuclear waste that comes from using the nuclear power rods that we have to do something with them to protect the general public against getting in contact from this nuclear waste more t time to focus on things like green energy instead of nuclear power. So for the area tonight to take a look at this, and going to be pushing this on the website, you can check down below the video you're watching now on our page. You can actually read the resolution of the House in the 116th Congress to find out more about Representative Ocasio-Cortez's resolution, what it means, what it says, what it doesn't say out there, and you can read it for yourself. And this is going to be one of the best ways to, again, address issues of what's going on in the Congress. Yes, it is a decent read out there, but there is a PDF file out there that this one you're looking at is what we are going to feature. So if you'd like to know more and figure out, again, see if you agree with it, if you don't, probably not going to be agreeing with it totally, but at least you'll be able to take a look at it, and we will feature that information. Again, scroll down beneath this video, and you'll find more about what the Green Power Plan is all about and what it is that you can get from this resolution to find out more, again, about participating in your democracy, which is one of the best things you can possibly do as a citizen. The Chickasaw group of the Sierra Club is going to be meeting on the 26th of February to talk more about the public hearing for the north and south wastewater treatment plants. Uh, the city of Memphis uh, permits for north and south sewage treatment plants are up for renewal, and the Sierra Club has requested a public hearing. If you'd like to get involved a little bit more in what goes on in the legislature, where it comes to things like the environment, you can learn more from people who have done it for decades. The Sierra Club will help you learn more about lobbying and finding out more from your legislators and my legislators about what you can do to help out when it comes to contacting your elected officials regarding the environment. There'll be training information for this, some of it in Nashville, some of it in other locations. You can find out more, again, by going to the Chickasaw Group at sierraclub.org slash Tennessee slash Chickasaw for more information. The Wolf River Conservancy will be, again, holding numerous events coming up in the next several days and weeks, including tree planting, bonfire, Arbor Day celebration, a member's paddle down the cleaned up Wolf River, and also a whole bunch of other things. You can get there by going to wolfriver.org. Lichterman Nature Center has a STEM camp coming up and plenty of natural events for younger kids to take a look at. You can get there by going to memphismuseums.org for more information. You can go to the Rainforest site to find out more details about how you can protect the environment, and it's very simple to do so. All you have to do, and I'm going to do it right here, right now, just click on that green button and when you view the ads that are up there then the sponsors will set aside rainforest space and how have we done so far this year not bad we're working on it two million clicks just this year over a thousand acres saved so far 45 million square feet of rainforest space that will not be developed so really good news on that earth hour is coming your opportunity to shut off the power and again, learn about how much power you use and how much you need. 47 days away, we'll be bringing you updates as we go throughout the course of the next several days and weeks. So get set to learn more about that as we get closer to the date. More information, again, give me an email at austin.onic at wreg.com. Live and direct from downtown Memphis. 
Thanks for dropping in and watching our video environment blog, Your Environment, and more coming up with News Channel 3.